Hey guys, uh, I have finished uh, getting all my lo um, load securement. I saw a comment that I should get some more chains and binders, so I did. Um, I got a total of 10 chains and binders now um, because I have a total of 10 uh, four inch straps. So that should be plenty to do um, coils and uh, loads like that. Um, was expensive, should've just got it at first. Also did buy some more bungees. Um, I got the crimped ends, but I got some smaller ones um, because I got 50 large ones, so now I have 50 small ones. And I'm going to load up the tarps. So I'm gonna reorganize everything, strap everything down. Um, and I think we're gonna have a good weight. We're gonna go hit the scales today and see what uh see what we're weighing um that way we could start booking loads i got a load board i went with truck stop for my factoring um it's like 2.9 percent i looked at rts but rts didn't respond several times and they were only like a little bit cheaper but if you're not going to respond then what's the point of doing business and then um i got truck stop for my load board as well and I did go ahead and calculate what I need to make per mile to be profitable for my business. And I'm at like $2.60, $2.63 to be exact. So I'm not sure why people are out here booking cheap loads. I looked at the load board. Um, there's loads for, you know, it's a full load, you know, 10 to 15 to 20,000 pound loads. Um, and they're only paying like 280. Um, so obviously you gotta negotiate, get the bump in uh, that, that price. But don't be out here taking cheap loads just because you have a lower uh, you know, cost or margin that you need to make, doesn't mean that you should be out here not making money. We're, everyone's in business to make money. So don't undercut the industry guys. Um, be smart. I'm not gonna be t taking any cheap loads um i got too much money invested in this to take cheap loads so um by the way uh, i got the chains because someone commented and said i should get the chains so i do read my comments and i do respond so um if you got any other suggestions or advice uh leave it in the comments below and uh like this video i'm gonna go ahead and get this reorganized and strapped down all right so i'm loading up the trailer but the, the ball's been sitting in the rain, so it's pretty dry. So I got a tub of grease, and it's really simple. You just dip it. That's all you have to do. Yeah, nothing, nothing too crazy. But uh, the first time I put grease on here, I definitely didn't put enough. So get this, it makes it a lot easier to do it right. All right, so we got the cat scale. Now we're a little heavier than I thought. Total of 21,700 pounds. Um, the big things I wanna look at is the steer axle and the drive axle. I wanna make sure that I'm not too heavy on those. Um, but for the most part, it looks like we're good. My gross on my truck is uh, 44,000. So I should be able to tow roughly 22, 23, pretty comfortably. But the biggest challenge in towing is a uh, tongue weight. So I'm gonna look at uh, what we got here. Um, curb weight, 87. So it says on the gooseneck we can tow 31,000. It's probably really hard to see on here. But this is what's important. This information. The front axle can have 
6,000 pounds and the rear axle can have 10.5. And the front axle, we're at 5,000. So, got about 900 pounds to put on the front axle. It's kind of hard to put weight on the front axle. Um, the drive axle, we're at 7.3 and we can do a total of 10.5. So, let's, let's round that up the, we'll round the drive to 7.5 for easy math. 8.5, So, I have another 3,000 pounds of tongue weight that I can put on the truck. So, I'm not sure. I'm sure if I was towing like a tractor or something, um, I could just put it over the rear axles on the trailer. But that is something I'm gonna have to be aware of um, is my tongue weight. Cause I'm already sitting on the assisted springs. They're just barely touching. So there's not a whole lot of pressure, but that's just from the trailer sitting on it. And I know the trailer, when it was uh, not weighed or anything, Weighed about 10,400 pounds before I put any of my equipment on there. And the trailer axle weight was 9.2, so got about a thousand pounds on the hitch. So that's about a 10%. A 10% uh, of the trailer weight is going on to the tongue weight on the truck um so for easy math i'll probably just go and round up to 15 percent when i have like equipment on here and stuff but if you have any suggestions about how to load it how to maximize my weight because i'm seeing a lot of stuff on the load board and it's heavy and uh knowing that i only have about 3,000 pounds of tongue weight doesn't make me uh, feel too comfortable about Going up, going and picking up a load that weighs twenty thousand pounds, unless it was, uh, you know, a tractor or something where I can get a lot of the weight on the rear axles. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have any experience in this, uh, let me know. Um, but I guess the biggest thing to do is, uh, or the easiest thing to do is, go out there and just go and pick up a load, weigh it, see where we're at. I know that DOT looks at the tire ratings on the truck and the trailers. And I know my tire ratings are rated for, it was like 11,000 something pounds. So my tires are rated a little more than what the drive axle is rated for. Um, a standard DOT inspection, they're not looking at your, uh, your rear axle weight. They're just looking at the tires. Now there are different levels of inspection, so I'm sure at the highest level of inspection they're going to be checking to make sure that you're not overweight on your axles. Um, but that's all I got for uh, probably this week. My license plates, I just got notified. My permit expired and I just got a notification that there's a shortage. So now there's a shortage on license plates. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, if you guys are experiencing that, let me know. But I got a new permit for 60 days. So I'm probably just gonna go ahead and run with the paper permit. Um, I do have my registration and that did come in with uh, the new permit. So I feel be better about having the registration. Um, I have my load board, I have my factoring, everything set up. The only issue is at the end of this month, is the end of the second quarter so now my big debate in my mind is do i want to wait another week and a half and wait for this quarter to be over um so i don't have to claim um and do any taxes and stuff like that or is it not a big deal i've never done like department of revenue uh, tax report or anything so not sure if it's easy or complicated because first quarter I just said um, I wasn't in business, not making money. Because um, all I've been doing is spending money. So 
if you have any experience in that let me know um because i might go ahead and uh try running you know the last next week really i have everything in place all i have to do is just pack my clothes and hit the road really there's nothing else holding me back um obviously i will have to come back eventually and uh get my license plates um for the trailer or license plate but besides that um all the other hurdles are done so yeah leave a comment below um what you think i should do and um how much weight you think i can actually put on this trailer this trailer is rated for 30,000 pounds and it looks like the axles are rated for 15,000 pounds you can see it there it's really hard to it's not focusing very well but each axle is rated for 15,000 pounds and the trailer itself weighs 10,000 pounds so really um, that leaves me about 20,000 pounds a payload that I could put on the trailer um, should I go ahead and try to put 20,000 pounds on the trailer um, or should I just try to stick to like 15 until I have enough loads under my belt to know if I'm overweight putting too much weight on the the drive axle of the truck i appreciate any feedback you have and thank you guys for following